What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be coding the Supra with Beamer Code. It's gonna be a good video. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a cup of coffee and enjoy the video. You guys all knew that this time would come eventually. Well, I have been tinkering around with Beamer code in my BMW Supra, and it turns out you can code a lot of functions in this application on this Toyota, BMW, whatever you wanna call it. Now, first off, I do wanna say you can pronounce this two ways. Bimmer code or Beamer code? Yes, I'm aware that a Bimmer is a car, and a Beamer is a motorcycle. To be honest with you, I just like the way that Beamer code sounds better than Bimmer code. But for all of you politically correct purists out there, you can of course say Beamer code. If you guys haven't heard of Beamer code or you are unfamiliar with what Beamer code is, I have been making a ton of tutorials on Beamer code. I actually started this YouTube channel by making Beamer code tutorials on BMWs. Now I've coded things on my F30 BMW, my E90 M3 BMW, my F87 M2 BMW, BMW, and now we are coding things on my A90 Mark V Supra. Beamer Code is an app that you can just download in the App Store for Android or iPhone, and it unlocks a ton of features within your ECU on your BMW. Things like folding mirrors, brightness of headlights, active start-stop button memory, there are so many functions that you guys can code, especially on the F-Series BMW. I think the F-Series BMW was really where Beamer Code was focusing, and there are a ton of options when it comes to coding that car. I have noticed with the Supras, I think because they are relatively new, there aren't that many features that you can code, but I will be making a few videos on Beamer code for this car. Now my Supra is a 2020 A90 Mark V Supra. That is what we are gonna be talking about today. And that is what I'm gonna show you guys how to code today. If you have zero clue on how Beamer code works or what it is, I'm gonna link a video right here and down below that is a beginner's guide. That is gonna get you really started with Beamer code so you learn the ins and outs of Beamer code. I do wanna say though that that is a very old video. I will be making an updated one because a lot of things have changed since then. Prices have changed, adapters have changed. But just to briefly explain how this works, you guys, you go into your app store, download the app called Beamer code. In addition to that, you are going to need an OBD adapter that is gonna allow your car to communicate with your phone and the Beamer code app. Now on this channel specifically, we have been using the VPeak adapter for a very long time and you can still use that for your BMWs. However, it does not work on the Supra. So for the last few months, I've been searching for an adapter that would work, that we could code the Supra with, and I have found the OBD Link adapter. Now there are two different OBD Link adapters that you can buy. One is the CX and one is the MX. Now if your one goal is to code with Beamer code on your Supra and that is all you want to do, I recommend going with the CX adapter. It is much more affordable and it does everything that the MX adapter does as well. You're probably wondering why are there two adapters anyways? OBD Link is the company that makes these adapters. They also have an application. It's a pretty cool application and I'll probably make an entirely separate video on that app, but it's like a diagnostic app where you can go in and read codes, clear codes. You can check your different gauges live while you're driving, kind of like you can in boot mode. But I don't wanna to dive too far into that in this video just because it's gonna be confusing for some people and we're just talking about Beamer code today, which is simply coding in functions into your car. So with that being said, there is a discount in the description. You can go ahead and hit that link and then it's Thick Whips CX if you wanna save some cash on the CX adapter. Now, depending on when you guys are watching this video, if it is before the holidays, that discount will only get you $3.99 off. If it is after the holidays, that discount will get you $13.99 off of the adapter. So you can go ahead and hit that link, plug in that code, it'll take you to their website, you can also go to Amazon from their website, whichever method you are more comfortable buying the adapter with. There is also a discount code for the MX adapter down below. This discount code will give you $19.99 off of the OBD Link MX adapter. So what you're gonna wanna do is hit the link and also put in the code and that will ensure that you get your discount. But like I said, you guys, if you are just here to code with Beamer code, I recommend going with the CX. That's what I've been using. It's worked flawlessly. We will make a future video down the line talking a little bit more about the 
the differences between these adapters and what the OBD Link app has to offer. But today, we're focusing on Beamer Code. If you guys are watching this video and you own a BMW and maybe not a Toyota Supra, you can hop on a Beamer Code's website, check the supported cars, and it'll give you a list of all the cars that are supported by Beamer Code that you can actually code features into on your BMW. All right, guys, so now that we got all of the logistics out of the way, let's go ahead and hop in the car, code in some features, show you what we can do. <laughs> All right, so let me show you guys exactly where this adapter goes. This is a Bluetooth OBD adapter. So basically this allows our car to communicate with our phone. So when we download the Beamer Code app, this is gonna be the device that allows the car to communicate with the phone. You're gonna go ahead and take this adapter and right under here in the footwell, you're going to see this port. So you're gonna take your adapter, Plug it into that port. And next up, you guys, you wanna go ahead and turn the car on into diagnostic mode. Now, this is how I prefer to code it. Um, you can also code with the car fully running, with the engine running, I've done that before, but I think that this is just like the best way to do it. In order to get the car into diagnostic mode, you just hit the start stop button three times rapidly without touching the brake and you will see the car turn on. Now, obviously the engine is not running. We just have the electronics on. It'll say diagnostic mode activated. Make sure that you don't have anything running. Uh, I like to turn off as many things as possible, like my air, I'll turn off my lights. That way we're not using too much battery power while we're doing this. If you do plan on coding for like a really long time, it might be a good idea to put a charger on the car or something of that nature. I have never done that, I've never needed to, especially being that this is like a newer car, the battery is obviously brand new, so I'm not really worried about it. All right, you guys, so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and go into your settings, Make sure that the car is in airplane mode. You're gonna want the Wi-Fi off. This is a Bluetooth adapter, so all you need to have on is your Bluetooth. Once you're in Bluetooth, scroll down and you will find OBD Link CX. Go ahead and select that. Allow your car to communicate with that adapter. All right, you'll see that the OBD Link CX adapter is now connected to the car. We can back out of settings. Now let's go to our Beamer Code app. So in the bottom right corner, you're gonna see a little gear icon and then you'll see adapter. Now you'll see I already have OBD Link CX uh, selected. If you had the OBD Link MX, obviously you would use the other one. Once you have the correct adapter selected, you can go ahead and back out of there and then go ahead and hit connect. All right, so this is where you're gonna select your car. Obviously we are in the Toyota Supra. Funny fact, you can hit Z4 and it'll allow you to go in there and code just as if it were a Supra. I mean, I rest my case. This is a BMW. <laughs> so for today, we're obviously just gonna go into Toyota Supra. I'm gonna show you guys how to code with that. The Beamer Code app is going to identify the control units, um, read the VIN, bring up the car, and make sure that it is in fact a Supra, like it says it is, and then it's gonna figure out what we can code. Now, Beamer Code does a really good job of putting the things that are easy to code right here on the front page. Obviously, active sound design. Now that is something that I coded off right away. Active sound design is basically fake engine noise that is filtrated into the cabin. This is something that a lot of the newer BMWs have. It's really corny. I personally do not like it. I code it out of all my cars. You'll see right here, active sound design deactivated. I have it selected as deactivated. So that was one of the first things that I coded. I will show you guys how to actually code something in this video, but for this one, um, I've already coded this, so I'm not gonna touch it. You'll also notice in the bottom right, backups. Every time that you code something in Beamer Code, it saves a backup of what your ECU was like before you coded that in. So if you coded a bunch of things and you don't like it, you can just use backups to revert the ECU to how it was prior to coding the vehicle. Then you'll also see expert mode in the bottom left. I do not recommend going into expert mode unless you really know what you're doing. If you are someone that is new to Beamer Code, um, just don't mess with expert mode. I don't want you screwing up your car. Just stick to the main pages that are available from Beamer Code. For this one, we're gonna head back into the main DME control units. So now you'll see all of these different control units. You have the active sound design, which we just looked at. We have the advanced crash safety module, which is things like your rear view camera, seatbelt reminder, PDC, stuff like that. And then you have air conditioning, you have engine control unit, head unit, instrument cluster, and roof function center, which is like acoustical confirmation, alarm system, stuff like that. I actually cannot access the roof function center. I've noticed that some of these Supras have different things that you can code and different things that you can't code. I think it just depends on whether you have an A90 or an A91 and really what month the car was built. So let's hop into advanced crash safety module because there are some things that I actually coded in there. All right, so now that we're in here, you can 
see a bunch of stuff. You'll see PDC top view distance switch off threshold. I didn't mess with any of the PDC stuff, but of course you can go in there and change all that. Rear view camera distance switch off threshold. There is a lot of stuff that you guys can code into your car to so just make it drive and function how you want it to. Now at the bottom, you're also gonna see seatbelt reminder. Seatbelt reminder, driver's seat, I have not active. Uh, the passenger seat not active and initial seatbelt reminder after start not active so these are like the warnings that pop up and the the chimes that happen when you don't have your seatbelt fastened the reason i undid those is because i'm always working in the garage and in the parking lot and i'm moving the car in and out and i'm obviously not going to put my seatbelt on when i'm moving the car 10 feet and it just gets to be a little bit annoying after a while hearing that seatbelt reminder over and over and over again so i just coded it out now obviously don't go driving around without your seatbelt on that's not really smart but if you're like me and you're just moving the car around and you want to turn off that reminder you can go ahead and do that right here the top out of there, air conditioning. So in here, you're gonna see a couple of different options, air circulation setting memory, automatic air recirculation, AC on in recirculation mode, apply auto settings to manual mode. So there's a lot of stuff you can do in here. I really didn't mess with any of that. The next one down, you're gonna see engine control unit. So in here, I actually only have one option, which is the auto start stop function memory, which I have active. The reason I have that active is because I want the car to remember how I was driving it the last time I was in it. I do not like having the auto start stop on in my car. If you don't know what that is, it's like when you go to a stoplight, the car automatically turns off when you are not driving, when you're just stopped. And then the car will start back up when you hit the gas and you're ready to go. I personally do not like that. It's kind of annoying and I'm totally not used to it. When that does happen, it takes me by surprise. And I immediately think something is wrong with my, my BMW. So I turn this to active so the car will remember that I have the auto start stop off when I'm driving not a function that I like to have on my car. So the next one, let's go into head unit. There's some cool stuff in here. This is gonna be like your iDrive screen. So the M display that you guys saw pop up when I got in the car, that is how I coded that in. It's in the head unit category. So there's a lot of different stuff you guys can do in here. Checkbox, acoustical lock confirmation, warning chime, ringtone, uh, maximum volume at startup. So I actually have my startup animation set to Christmas right now. It just has the M logo that pops up, but for some reason they call it Christmas. But this is how you guys code. So I can show you guys really quick here how this works. Uh, prepare coding. So you're gonna see this turn off. Hey, I like that one the best. So that's called Christmas. That always takes people by surprise. They're like, well, how did you do that? Well, cause it's a BMW. That's how I did it. <laughs> I mean, really. So after you do that, after you go ahead and code that in, you can back out of control units. Um, and then you have a few more stuff here. Instrument cluster, roof function center. There's, there's a lot of stuff that you guys can code with Beamer code. I have seen some people that were able to code the car to start in sport mode, which is really cool. I unfortunately do not have that in my options. I will see if I can figure out how to do it in expert mode, but there was another gentleman who had coded his car who had that available in the engine control unit. So you might be one of the lucky people that has that available, plus other things. You really don't know until you get in the car. Every car is different, you know, so it's hard to make some of these videos and relate to everybody because all of these cars are gonna have different functions available. But Beamer code just makes a really big difference. If your car doesn't do the things that you want it to do or something kind of annoys you, just the way that the car is, you can change a lot of that stuff in Beamer code. When it comes to cost right now, I think the app, the full version of Beamer code, which you need, you have to buy the app if you want to code. I know a lot of people are like, is it free? Can I code for free? No, of course it's not free. I think the app is around $40 or something like that. You know, in the first video that I made talking Talking about Beamer code, I didn't mention a price. And the reason I did that is because it's always changing. These prices are always changing and I don't wanna give you guys an answer to something that could potentially change and then you're all mad because it's not the right price. But it does in fact cost money. Nothing worth any value in life is free. So, but to put things into perspective, if you were to take your car to BMW to code something, it would cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars for them to code your car. They would charge you hundreds and hundreds of dollars to do that. Unless you have an in at BMW and you got a really cool service manager it's like oh we'll just do it for free maybe you're one of the lucky people but if you were just joe schmo off the street and you're bringing in your car and you ask bmw to code your car they're going to gouge you so after you are done coding you can go ahead and remove the adapter you do not need to keep the adapter in the obd port to have these codes stay active once you code these in the car is coded with the functions and you're good to go i think it's also worth noting that when you tune your car for performance it does not affect the features
features that you have coded in. So these will remain and vice versa. If you have a tune on your car, these features Beamer code will not affect your tune. They are two separate things. All right, so there you guys go. That is my Beamer code introduction to the Toyota Supra. Now I am going to be making some follow-up videos going in a little bit deeper about all the things that I've coded, how to specifically code them. And I will be looking into doing the startup and sport mode on this car that might be like an expert mode thing. Now the funny thing is when it says choose your vehicle, you can select a Z4 and it will allow you to code your Supra with the Z4 functions. So when people say like this car is not a BMW, it is very much so a BMW. The ECU is a BMW, the engine is a BMW, the interior is definitely a BMW. You will find BMW parts riddled all over this car. But it's not a bad thing. The fact that BMW worked with Toyota on this car is, in my opinion, a great thing, and they were smart to do so. There's a lot of reasons that people don't really understand as to why Toyota and BMW work together, and it makes a lot of sense when you do understand it. I will be making an entire video on that. It's going to be interesting, but I'm just making sure I got all my research done before I before I speak on it. Anyways, guys, I know some of you were looking forward to this video talking about Beamer Code with the Supra. I'm sorry it took me so long. Like I said, I wanted to form the partnership with OBD Link and get you guys discounts on the adapter. From what I understand, I'm the only person out here that is coding Supras that has a discount code with this company. So make sure if you are gonna be coding your Supra with Beamer Code, check out the discount codes and the links in the description to get your adapters. Also, like I said before, I will be making a separate video about OBD Link CX versus MX. They are two different adapters. The MX adapter is going to be more expensive than the CX, but if all you want to do is code your car with Beamer Code, just go with the CX adapter, that's all you need. All right, you guys, so like I said, this is just the introduction video on the Toyota Supra. We're gonna be making a lot of Beamer Code videos for this car coming up. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification. And just like that, this video's over, and we're out. Mirrors on the walls for the ones that we lost. Bodegas on the corner, let me see what's in store. Subway stations with the maps and the cars. Summer cookouts, uncle got the sandals on. Statue of Liberty, we hold Pulling up the torch if they ask where I'm from, tell them this is New York. We from the home of the biggie, people blowing they ciggies. And these girls going wild cause they flashing they titties. It's Liddy. Watch your steps cause these blocks be shitty. We grew up on that bad.